copying paste all over again just talking about it hey guys hey guys hey guys hey guys it's your boy Zelik so today I'm back with another story time which happens like a couple of weeks ago some of you may know that I'm living in a guest house in Tokyo which is basically kind of like friends but you actually hate everybody <laughs> I'm kidding but it's like friends but nobody is your friends <laughs> but yeah basically it's just like a house that you're renting and everybody has their own room and then you have like some common spaces that you're sharing with everybody else and a few weeks ago I actually had like a beach fight with someone by post-it <laughs> so one morning I just woke up wake up in the morning feeling like P. I mean not really morning or am I kidding more like beginning of the afternoon <laughs> I headed to the kitchen and the day before I cooked some rice so I had like my saucepan with like some water in it to like simmer down and to be able to like remove the rice and I reached to my for my saucepan because I wanted to cook rice again so I had to clean it and I just see that there's like a long sheet of paper in the water and I was like oh maybe someone bought some food and then they just like drop the paper in my saucepan and they didn't notice so that must be it so I was like whatever let's just put it off and throw it away and I actually pick it and I see that there's actually something written in it and I'm like and I take like the sheet of paper and it says I don't know if they're pleased but it said like clean your dishes after you use them or something or clean your stuff after you use them and I was like lies the lie child first this is my soul span <laughs> and second of all the thing that really like got me hyped is that I've been doing a lot of efforts to always like clean all of my stuff after I use it in most cases I clean everything before I even start like eating because I know we're living in a guest house with so many bitches we like around 10 people or even more so if everybody start leaving their shit in the kitchen it's gonna look like a mess and be super dirty like really quick in one day it can be like super messy and everything and it's really not in my nature but I really love making a lot of effort to like do it so it really pissed me off that someone would like say clean your stuff I was like okay I can understand that that person wants the house to be clean just like I want it to be clean as well so I went back to my bedroom and I just took like my red pen <laughs> and I didn't took like a little pulsey or something I took a full blown piece of paper and I wish I had kept them because I wanted to like show you guys but I didn't and uh, then I wrote on it like first of all this is my own saucepan and second of all I need to like let the rice sink in with some water so I can remove it properly from the saucepan otherwise it's just not gonna clean off because the rice especially like the rice is in Japan is like super sticky rice and I put it like the paper like right underneath my saucepan and I let back to my bedroom and when I came back to the kitchen I saw that the person just wrote something like underneath and they put like a circle around the fact that I wrote it was mine and with an arrow saying but it's in a common space I said that I have to like let it simmer for some time then they answer like how much fucking time do you need to do it and I was like are you fucking kidding me? I was not happy at all Excuse me I'm actually getting pissed all over again just talking about it. I think I need some ice cream to like calm down my nerves.
Okay, I'm feeling better. At that moment, that's when the blood actually started like boiling in my veins. I have like this vein here that gets pumped <laughs> when I get hyped. And I was like, Chai, why are you calling, why are you using like this kind of like birth name in the conversation? We're like talking politely. Like I'm perfectly fine with having like someone I'm living with tell me if I'm having a behavior that is making them feel uncomfortable in some ways. But it doesn't mean you have like to start cursing and using this kind of stuff because that's how the conversation is going to like start getting from a conversation to like a big argument. And in that those quick hours we like not in the mood. So I was like... Piggy, back your ass up. I'm not even going there with you now. Like, I went back to my bedroom and took my red pen and I was like... You don't check this boo. Okay. You better be very careful who you're using the word fucking with because I don't do this very well. <laughs> That's why I started to go ghetto. The reason why that person was feeling like I was leaving my stuff for like ages before cleaning it is because the saucepan needs to... Uh, it's because I only have one saucepan, so I basically was using it regularly because I was eating rice like two days in a row. So he probably, he or she probably saw it like two nights and thought it was like the same, but it actually wasn't the same. So I was like, bitch, don't try me. Don't fucking try me. Don't fucking try me, okay? And then when I drop like the last paper, I just saw that there's like, uh, as soon as I was leaving like the kitchen, uh, someone like stood up from the living room to go and to read it and then I just heard <sighs> But unfortunately I didn't really watch who it was and at the beginning of the argument I actually wanted to write my name, the name of my bedroom like on the paper for the person to actually come and talk to me directly but thanks God I didn't do it because if they had started like cursing on me like that child, I'm really non-violent and pacifist but I was going through like a lot at that period of time. So I have no idea what I would have done. Probably I would be in jail right now. <laughs> And Japanese police don't like to fuck with strangers so much, so they probably would have just deported me back to Paris. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this little story time. Don't forget to thumbs up if you like it. Haven't you already? I mean, we know each other. You better give it a thumbs up child, like, I'm not even playing with you. And to subscribe if you want to see more.